Hey there beautiful people, today I am back with this absolutely game breaking glitch which rewards XP, umbrals, equal shotguns and much much more. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another D2 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So a glitch or exploit has come out over the past few hours which allows you to farm the prophecy dungeon uh, loot on a scale like nothing I can remember ever seeing. And well it's stupid easy. Instructions on my behalf will be as clear as possible as other tutorials I've seen here on YouTube and on Reddit are just way beyond complicated and so unclear it's crazy. But I will try and make this clear enough so even a noob like me would understand it. So it's quite simple if I'm honest, go through the prophecy dungeon until you reach the final boss and here's where it starts. As soon as you kill that final boss you simply all just quit out. Everyone in that party quits out. This is easy, it's done by changing characters via your menu. Don't hang about, don't wait for loot, don't open any chests. As soon as you kill that boss, get out of there. What has now happened is you all who just backed out now have a checkpoint on that character for the loot to come after you defeat the boss and a chest which you would have got normally not backing out here. And from here it's simple. As you all now have the checkpoint for this chest on those characters, two of you want to switch to characters who do not have the checkpoint, while the remaining one who does have the checkpoint stays on his character. Those two people and those fresh characters join the person with the checkpoint. He then loads into the prophecy dungeon and while you are flying in via the screen you can see on the screen now, this slipstream screen, the one when you're flying in, the host then backs out again. Changing character again is fastest. Doing this, that person keeps the checkpoint. The remaining two people can just fly into the dungeon and you can grab that loot. And you can rinse and repeat this as many times as possible. As long as the original people with the checkpoint never fully load in and grab that chest, they never lose the checkpoint. So they can just keep loading two other people in to grab the loot. So you guys in a party with said checkpoints just take it in turns loading your alt characters in just making sure the original three characters who originally beat that boss and quit out never fully load in and quit out at that slipstream screen instance. And you can farm this chest for hours upon end earning great loot, umbrals, XP and much much more. Enjoy this crazy exploit and I hope it helps you out. To quickly run over the process Go into the dungeon prophecy in a party, I mean you can do it solo but if you're in a party it will be much much easier. As soon as you kill the final boss you all quit out, changing characters is best here. All three of you now have the checkpoint for this chest upon killing the boss and as long as these three characters who have this checkpoint never fully load back in and grab that chest and that loot you will always keep the checkpoint. So you are three to take two other people into this thing and quit out allowing them to load in and grab that loot and you can just keep repeating this and it is as easy as that. Now a slight edit to the video, it seems as though after me doing this for a while now, drops are predetermined from the chest, meaning you will always get the same armor or weapon from the chest. So I understand it would be best to run this and keep repeating it until you get said item you want to farm from this end chest. For instance, when you load in and you get that loot pop up on screen, that is the loot you get from the boss. This is either going to be an umbral engram or element like it was for me. Ignore that. But the loot you get from the chest, as you can see, I got the helmet and I kept getting the helmet. It was always the helmet. So the loot does seem predetermined. So if your alt characters from the chest, once you grab that loot, one of them gets the Icola shotgun, they will always get the Icola shotgun. Now if you don't get the said item you want from the chest, you will have to repeat the whole process of running the prophecy again until said item does drop. But once it does drop, you can keep farming it for rolls over and over. And I hope that makes sense to you. Now the umbral engrams I was getting from the bus or the elements were popping up on screen. But little did I know, checking my postmaster, I was also getting a class mod at the same time, which was always happening too. So there's plenty of materials to be earned here, plenty of XP, plenty of umbrals, plenty of element and if that certain item you want from that chest is there, keep farming for that perfect roll and it's a win-win. 
Because how it's working is you're loading into a checkpoint of literally just defeating the boss. So loading in on all characters with your friend's checkpoints, you will get the loot from just beating the boss because that's the instance you backed out and you also get loot from the chest. So if you got the shotgun from the boss or the sword from the boss or the hand cannon from the boss or a helmet, you will also get that every single time you reload into this instance. So keep that in mind too. So definitely check your postmaster because it seems to go there and for the most part it doesn't seem to pop up on your screen. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.